If there's one thing we love on Aquaholic, it's super yachts. This is another thing we love, it's Nordhavens. Well, imagine my excitement to get in the first Nordhaven super yacht. This is the N120, it's the largest they do. I've just been on board of it and it is absolutely magnificent. You are really going to want to see this. So we're going to head down here and go and take the full tour. And this is the full Aquaholic tour. We're going to every area of this boat. We're going into the crew areas, the engineering areas, the cabins, the decks, the lot. I am very, very excited to be bringing this one to you. So we step on here via this bathing platform. And what we're going to do is head up to the cockpit and then we will start on the inside and we'll work our way around. But this is the cockpit area. You've got seating at the back here and that's under this big overhang. So you've got plenty of shade. But let's go and have a full look around. Shoes off, push this button. Here we go. So this is the interior. A few people on here but they know we're coming so we're all good. Look at that, that is absolutely beautiful. I love this big social area at the back here and you can see the dining area at the front as we go through. And this is Dan Street, he is the president of PAA Nordhaven. Hi Dan. Yep, yep. Thanks for a good board. Yep, That's a pleasure, it. thank you very much for organising this, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, let's crack on. So this, as I mentioned, is the dining area. There's place settings there for 10. And you can see the absolutely stunning woodwork that they put into these and the lighting. It just looks amazing. Now ahead of here is the crew areas, the galley, that kind of thing. We're not going to look at that straight away, but we will obviously work our way around to that as we go around. What we're going to do first of all is do the full main deck. So we'll head out down here. This is the doorway out onto the side deck. You can see that just there. That goes back to the cockpit. As we head on forward, these are the stairs, lower deck and upper deck. We'll be looking at both of those. And up here, these are day heads. Like that. And this, as you would expect, has a main deck master cabin. That's in here. So you've got this wonderful snug as you come into here, little TV room. And as we head on again, we come into the cabin proper. So there is an ensuite here. There are two of these. I'll show you the one in a moment. And as we head on around here, this is the cabin in its entirety. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Really nice. And then as we come around onto this side, this is that other bathroom. And this actually is a bathroom. It has the bath in it and it has the shower and some really wonderful finishes like the way they've done this and you've got the view out here there is of course a blind to come down that so you can have some privacy if you want it let's go back into here beautiful and these doorways up here you might be wondering about these there's lots of storages you can see all around places like this but check this out that is an absolutely massive walk-in closet it goes right around here and then drawers and more storage down there. Huge hanging reel across here. Pretty impressive. But it's not the only one. Let's go around here. On each side. Safe in that one as well. Awesome. Okay. Let's press on. We've got a lot of ground to cover and all of it fantastic. So we will move on and I think what we'll do is head back out of here and we'll take a look at the lower deck guest areas. That's just storage in that one. And this then is the route down. So these are the VIP guest cabins down here. This is marble and granite on the floor, this design. And then you've got this pantry area. And as we head on through here, big double cabin. As you'd expect, lots of storage. Big hanging locker there. And of course the ensuite, which is over here. 
Very nice. And another bath, in fact. Awesome. Let's keep moving. So this is pretty much a mirror image. Very good sized cabin. You can see on this one they pulled these blinds back so you can see you've got the portholes there. So you do actually have a view out to see if you want it. We're in Miami at the minute. That is the MacArthur Causeway. And again, wardrobes in here. And of course the ensuite on this side. Beautiful. Okay, we'll head on up and then up and then up because there's a lot to see. Look at these rails. Stunning. So we'll head on around again. This will take us up to the upper deck. And then we will head towards the back, first of all. There's another day heads here. So this will give you like a sky lounge here. A little bit more informal, you've got the bar in here, you've got these two wonderful easy chairs. There's a huge screen on the wall, so a great place to come and watch a movie of an evening if you want to. And a card table over on this side. Very nice extra area. And if we come out the back, we will find the outside dining area. What's quite neat is, as you can see, it's a fairly breezy day today, but we're not feeling it at all because you've got these screens here. They're on both sides and they really shelter this area. You don't see them, but you do feel the difference. And if you go around here, you can get around the boat on the outside, on this upper deck. And in fact, if we come back onto this side, you'll see there is an outside stairway back down to the main deck. But we're not going to do that. We're going to head on forward and see what else we can find. You may have noticed there is another stairway just on this side. So let's head up here and we'll take a little explore of this area. So here you've got a really nice bar area and you've also got another helm station. I haven't shown you the main helm station yet, we will come to that of course. But this is the upper helm, so it gives you another place to drive the boat from. A quite amazing view of course. Yes. Of the Miami skyline and then more seating over here and then this will take us out of the back of the boat on this level where as you probably noticed we have a jacuzzi. There's some sunbathing up here another great little area where you can come and tuck yourself away from the main party. Superb. Very nice indeed and from here as well you can see all the antennas, the satellite systems, the radars, that kind of stuff is all up there on top of this to get maximum height. And in fact, a lot of the antennas as well are down on the side. You can see them just there. And this, this is one of the life rafts. So that's obviously there for an emergency situation. There's a shower here as well. So a great place if you're not sunning yourself or enjoying the jacuzzi to come and shower yourself off before you go back inside. this bar area we've got things like cool drawers there's a dishwasher up here you've got a wine cooler on this side so very well catered for and another TV okay let's head on down and we'll go and take in some of the crew areas but there is more cabins to see we haven't actually finished yet we'll carry on working our way around so in through here is the main wheelhouse of this ship. Look at that. That's fantastic. We've got all these screens across here for navigation systems and the systems of the boat. This is currently showing fuel tanks. We'll talk a bit more about that when we get a bit further on. And all your engine controls, thruster controls, autopilot control, 
navigation, radar, all that kind of stuff. That's all across here. There's a seating area up here if anyone wants to come along and enjoy the ride. And if we go around here, this is the captain's cabin. So he gets his own area right next to the bridge. There's a desk in here as you come in, storage along here, and then a very nice cabin. Like so. And as you'd expect, proper ensuite with a separate shower area. Very nice. Now we can go from here directly down into the galley and crew areas. The routing on this boat is very clever, so the crew can actually pretty much operate the whole boat without going through the guest areas. So you've got this here where you drive the boat from. This is a separate stairway for the crew. And if we head down this one, it'll take us down to the galley. Okay, so just to reorientate you as to where we are, we're back on the main deck. If we go around here, that's that dining area, and that's where we came into the boat in the first place, back there. So that should give you an idea, hopefully, where we are. And then this is the galley area. This is all your cooling, so your fridges, your freezers, that kind of thing. It's all Miele equipment. And it's all proper professional stuff. Look at these ovens over here. And then more up over there. And all this kind of stuff. So you've got trash compactor. You've got Miele professional dishwasher. Two of them, in fact. Very well equipped boat. And then as we go around here, what I was mentioning about the crew routing being very good, the crew's cabins are down there, we'll have a look in a moment, but they can come through here. And as I say, you've got a galley, you've got the separate stairway up to the wheelhouse, all totally separate, but there's also a doorway here. That'll take you out onto the outside of the main deck, and that takes you back to the back of the boat and off it. So some very neat routing going on, but let's go down and take a look at the crew cabins. They're down here. So this is the crew mess area. So you've got more fridges down here, you've got somewhere they can do some cooking and some washing and then a really nice crew area like that. Now there is sleeping for five down here in three cabins. So there's one here and that has its own ensuite just there with a separate shower stall. And then if we come back round and through here, that's a watertight bulkhead there, so that can be closed off on the ships at sea, obviously with the crew on this side of it, not in here. And then in here, you've got bunk beds for two, and again, a really rather nice ensuite with a separate shower stall. And if you back out of there and cross, we'll find it mirrored over here, exactly the same situation. This is obviously storage and that kind of thing in there. Okay, let's head back out through here. Another thing to point out is these doors here take you straight into the lower deck accommodation. So we're changing beds, that kind of thing. They can come straight through here, don't have to come up the steps and along and back down again. So that works well. And in here, the laundry facilities. Excellent, let's keep on moving. Loads more to see, I promise you. This is another doorway. If you look behind here, this is all sound deadening material, and that, as I say, takes you through to the lower deck guest accommodation. Okay, people are gonna ask, let me have a look. Ah, huge storage void and access to some of the plumbing and that kind of thing. I did say it'd be access to all areas. Right, let's press on. So this of course is taking us back up to the galley and this time what we're going to do is go through here and we'll come back out onto the main deck and there are more areas to take a look at at the back of here. So we'll head straight through here, pretend we're not here and then right at the back we find another stairway. Okay, so a couple of things of note down here. First is, there are overflow guest cabins. 
So, one in here, with a big double bed. Again, it's got those blinds you can open and a view out, like so. This, of course, is all storage across here. And then if we go around here, the ensuite with a separate shower area. And if we head forward, we'll find another guest cabin. This one's laid out as twins. Again, you've got the portholes in behind there. And again, a lot of storage. So a wardrobe like that. Drawers in behind the door there. And this one's ensuite. Let's have a look in here. Ah, storage. There we go. Okay. And you may have noticed this door here with a combination lock on. This is so if the boat's been used for charter and people are in these cabins, you can lock this and make sure people aren't going in there because this is the engine space. So we go in through here. This is the main laundry facility. So that's the first thing that we come to. There's more cold storage in here as well. And the ironing board important and this goes two ways we'll do both of these but we're going to head forward first of all this I think you're going to like okay here we go the engine room look at this this is split level these are the engines they are a pair of Detroit MTU diesels 965 horsepower each now this is a strictly displacement, long distance boat. So you're looking at about 11 and a half knots flat out with these engines, cruising at eight to nine knots, but the big number is the range because you'll do over 4,000 miles between fill-ups. And that is very much the point of this boat as it is of all North Harvins. We head to the front here. These are all the switch panels. These are sea chests. So what these are is the raw water cooling for the engines comes up through here and then goes to the filter. So if you had a blockage, you could take the top off because we're above the water line, the water won't come out of it. This is the manifold systems for the fuel fillers. So it has commercial fillers. You actually lock the fillers onto the deck and then they deliver very high pressure fuel. So you can put a massive amount of fuel in both sides. This one comes from that side. This one comes from that side. And then this manifold directs where you want it to go. Because you've got various tanks on the boat. We'll explain that a little bit more when we get a little bit further on. There's a sink in here so you can wash your hands. And we head around here. This is the track system. She's got fin stabilizers, two on each side, and they're zero speed. So they'll stabilize the boat even when she's at rest. Let's head on down a level. It carries on getting interesting. Okay, so now you're seeing the engines in a little bit more detail, seeing the fuel filters. This is interesting. This is a universal joint coupling and it allows the engine to be soft mounted so it really reduces vibration through the boat. A lot of stuff going on down here. Now the other thing I'd like to show you is up through here because this is tankage. This is what gives it the incredible range. It's the tank room and these are the tanks left and right for your fuel, your water, all the way up through here. Look at this. You can get right up to the front of the boat through here. And these are access panels. Now these are designed specifically so that when you drain the tanks, you can unbolt these. They're on all of them. Let's go back a bit further. And they're big enough that people can actually get inside the tanks. The tanks have baffles, of course, but the baffles can be unbolted. And that means if you've ever had a problem, for example, with diesel work, which can congeal the, in the tanks, and it's like an organism, it'll carry on growing. You can actually get in there, undo the baffles, obviously when the tank is empty, and you can clean it all out. And if we head back through here, I'll show you some of the tank management systems. Lock that back down.
One thing I didn't point out was generators. There's a generator here. There's three of them on this boat. And you'll see the other ones. There we go. There's one outboard over there. Another one just there. And they all run for an Atlas system that splits the load across them and balances them so they're being used most efficiently. And if we have a look over here, this is the fuel tank system. So you can see here, she's got, where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tanks. That one there is a separate tank for a tender supply. It's all proper stuff. Look at these exhausts. Amazing. Let's come out of here and we'll head to the back and I'll show you some more. Okay. So let's go right through here. We're right to the back of the boat now. This here is a spot zero system. What this does is it purifies the fresh water so much that when you wash the boat down with it, it doesn't leave spots. It's the kind of attention to detail you've got on here. That's a way out of the boat, out onto the very back, onto the bathing platform, so it's another way out if it's needed. And also it means that people can come and go in through here if they're doing servicing work, that kind of thing. This is a passerelle, so it is an extending gangplank that comes out of the back of the boat so you can get ashore. We've got cameras around the place as well, so these areas can be monitored remotely. And over here, that's a system that allows it to adjust the frequency. So wherever you plug in, anywhere in the world, it will adjust the shore power to not just the correct voltage, but also the correct frequency. And then this here is your shore power handling system. So it comes down and actually coils up inside here or pulls out when it's required. And you can see there's a workbench in here and that kind of thing as well. Okay, now the one thing we haven't seen is tenders. So I'm going to show you those next and in fact some of the deck areas. So the way that we came into this area was through this door over here and past the laundry facilities. What we're going to do this time is take another route out. This is again what I mean about the crew routing. It's brilliant on this boat. They can go pretty much anywhere without having to involve themselves in the guest areas at all if they don't want to. It's very, very neat. So we're back out through here onto the main deck. That is the doorway just up there from the galley area. We're going to go this way, take a loop round up to the upper deck because this is the route forward so we can look at these four deck areas and the tender handling systems and the Miami Sunset. Look at that. Brilliant. So where we are now, this will take you back into the wheelhouse. And if we head on forward again, we have got wing stations just here. And if we head forward again, you've got seating up here on the front. And then this takes us out onto the foredeck area. This is like you find on the smaller Nardhavens. So it's got the tender here and space for another tender just there. And I think if I'm right in saying, yeah, that's the tender there. You can see the steps down to it. So that's deployed and ready to be used. And if we come right to the very front, there's a massive crane. I think that lifts about three and a half thousand pounds, something like that. And then right up here, you've got all your anchor handling systems. And if we look down here, you will see the chain lockers and more systems for the boat, fenders, that kind of thing. That all lives down there. It's very accessible, very get atable, as I like to say. Okay, so I think I'm going to finish up right on the bow with this wonderful Miami sunset behind me and say that that is a yacht I've been really excited about bringing to Aquaholic. I've been planning that for a couple of months and I'm really pleased to have done it. I hope you've enjoyed that tour. Do let me know what you think of it. Do give the thumbs up a click if you like it and do subscribe because there's lots of this good stuff coming. But I'd like to finish off by saying this is absolutely 100% super yacht. What I really like about it is that it's also absolutely 100% classic Nordhaven. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.